Okay. I guess it is time for us to start. So I will begin from a short intro of myself. My name is Ilya. I am from Infopulse. And uh, we are going to have today the game of codes, which is the online show uh, with our experts uh, that explores the topic of uh, how low code and custom dev could help businesses and which is the best way to use them. So this is our quick agenda for today. I will be leading you through today's show and uh, uh, here is a couple of words about Infopulse because this is who we are. Uh, we are a globally trusted uh, partner in digitalization and business transformation using the modern IT tools for businesses worldwide. Uh, we have 30 plus years of experience, started in, back in 1999. And basically I can say, uh, I think that we've seen it all in the world of IT. Uh, so please visit our website, uh, Google Info Pulse, and see what is on offer for your business transformation. But today is not about Info Pulse. Today is all about our experts and speakers and the stars. And we're beginning from Kate Resova. Uh, she is our head of tech pre-sales. And uh, we are very welcome to see her with all her experience. And uh, she is actually a person who is at, the, at, is at the, at the intersection of the business and IT. She's been 13 years in the IT world and she believes that custom dev is not only about the past, but only, but also about the future of IT. So please welcome Kate. Hello. Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, it's nice to see you here today with us. I hope Thank that. You. Thank you, Ilya. Yeah, I'm I happy hope to that be here. We will be having some pretty interesting discussions today. So maybe some words you want to say to the audience, or we can go on. Yeah, hi everybody. Hope you will enjoy today. I'm also excited uh, to see what will be the conclusion of our discussion and how it will go. All right. Thank you very much, Kate. But she has her partner today, which is Anton Vites, and he's our Paris App Solutions architect with the uh, more than 30 years of experience in information technology, and he has a passion for uh, all IT related, basically way back from 1993. So quite a lot of experience under his belt. And uh, now he will say hello to us, I hope. Hello, Anton. Hello, everybody. Hello and welcome to the, our night show today. Hello. Custom code, low code, which is better, which is for you? Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, Anton. I guess I guess you pretty much could be the host of the show. Uh, <laughs> thank you for helping me with that. You are really good at announcements, and I hope our audience will uh, really appreciate that. Uh, so keep up, keep on. Uh, so okay, it's nice to have our guests. And just a little announcement for all all of you who are watching us: we are going to have Q and A sessions with our speakers at the end of the show. So if you have any questions that uh, arise during the, the discussion, please write them in the chat and we will try to respond to them or maybe we will invite you to join our discussion uh, via the camera and the microphone because why not? We're all here for the conversation. So please uh, feel free to post the questions in the chat. Uh, or uh, maybe even raise your hands at the end if you want to talk to our experts directly, because we're here to talk with you. So I guess that's it for our formal announcements, and we can just move on to the content and to the spotlight of the show. And we have a warm-up intro section for you, which I prepared for the for our uh, respectful guests. And this is the basically they will explain to us why they have chosen to take their sites custom dev or low code. They will have just 30 seconds for that and they will go in turns. So who will go? Who wants to go first? Kate, Anton. Lady first. Uh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> OK, OK, uh, OK, Kate. So 
I am going to count down to one from three and uh, your 30 second, seconds will start. So it's three, two, one, go. For me, custom dev is where everything started and everything I think will finish. Custom dev is about flexibility, reliability, almost no limitations. It's art and it's a creation. And I'm talking here about business functionality and not about code prettiness. Business can create everything. When your competitors are using the same templated approaches, the same templated UI, and you want to differ, you want to stand out, custom dev is your choice to uh, be on a new level and to make your business as competitive advantage. And the time is up. You have already made it into under 30 seconds, but I guess we will spare you this three extra seconds, don't we, right? Because we're a good audience. <laughs> Uh, but it's now time for Anton. Can he make it in under just 30 seconds to explain why he's in love with local today? So, Anton, it's three, two, one, and go. Well, low code, no code is all about the business. It's all about your expression, your passion, uh, your freedom to create application you want in almost no time. So this is answer why you're going to have solution without so much budget, without so much overhead, and always in time. So this is about you. It's about business. So th that's a very simple answer and very fast and in time, in budget, you see. So uh, it yeah, it's my 11 fast. seconds left. I can continue then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, come on, be a gentleman, Anton. Be a gentleman, please. OK, OK, OK. okay it's... <laughs> well, anyway, that is that was nice. And I guess uh, it was just the right way to say why custom dev or low code. And uh, if please, if you have questions uh, to Kate or Anton about why they taken these positions, so please ask them in the chat uh, because maybe for some of you, 30 seconds wasn't enough to speak to them and to find out more. Uh, but anyway, I guess we're in the context today uh, and right now. So let's move on. And uh, so I've been preparing to this uh meeting uh, to this show uh which uh which all, all of us should obviously do they we should prepare to the meetings and i did my homework so uh this is the things that i googled and i went through the web and i found out that these are the beliefs that people have about custom dev for local so uh so custom dev for the for the majority of people, I mean, both from IT and from not IT, this custom dev is something like a very big scale, confusing, difficult to manage, and uh, basically, it's because of that, it is expensive, and it is slow. So another belief is just is that custom dev is living its last years uh, because chat GPT and uh, artificial intelligence is about to kill the custom dev that's what they say right uh so on the on the other side low code uh, is uh, people think that it is very like simplistic and uh, solutions are very small they're not, not scalable for the for the big enterprise tasks and the business challenges only for small businesses because you know only separate units or businesses uh, of a, not a very good not a, not a very big scale could adapt it and uh, basically, because of that, it's cheap and fast. So uh, these are beliefs. And uh, but the question is, could these beliefs stand up to Kate and Anton's uh, presentations further? Because what will they do? Uh, we are going to share you the cases uh, of how local and custom dev could be applied to help you in your business tasks, which might be both small, big, uh, scalable, remote, and et cetera, and et cetera. And let's see after that, will these beliefs hold up among the audience? And I propose to start from one of the most common systems that I guess every business should have is internal systems and digital workplace. It's somehow, it's uh, sometimes called. And the second category, which we will compare the two approaches, is mobile apps for process automation. Uh, so we are going by categories. First, we are going through internal systems and digital workplace cases. 
presented both by Kate and Anton from low code and custom dev sites, and then we'll move on to the mobile apps for process automation. Kate, Anton, are you okay with that? Yeah, looks sure. cool. Okay, looks good. I hope the audience is also uh, on the same page with us. If not, please let us know in the chat and we will explain it a bit further. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump on to the to our first internal systems and digital workplace case. And this is by Custom Dev and by Kate. So please, Kate, tell us how have you helped with your Custom Dev to help with all of this mess in the corporate systems that the company had? But thank you. Uh, why I have chosen this case? Because I think it's a very good representation how a little bit of creativity, design, and some passion about what you do can change the way the, the company works and the efficiency of how the company works. Um, it's a popular thought that nothing uh, will change or substitute the offline people collaboration. Um, for me, maybe yes, because uh, I'm an old school, yeah, and I prefer offline co collaboration. But if you ask the new generation, I think the answer will be quite different. And with changes happened in the world, like pandemic, the boost of all the technologies, uh, with enormous amount of data uh, that generated, stored, consumed by people, and actually new people behavior and values, uh, the logical question came to the companies how to organize the work process in this new reality. Mm -hmm. yeah? If company hires new professionals, new talents from uh, um, universities and also has, let's say, old school generation yeah, with experienced workers, how to combine them all together and provide the comfortable environment for both of them. Uh, so I think it was somewhere around uh, pandemic times when a big Ukrainian metal and mining company contacted us and say that when people came to the offices, it was everything fine and everything was good and we had no issues. But with the remote work, uh, we started to experience uh, complete mess in processes, in the effectiveness of people drop down, uh, the collaboration between people decreased a lot. Uh, people don't know how to find uh, and uh, where stored some documents or how to create a request for compensation or how to request to create request for travel, whatever. And uh, this is uh, was interesting task for us yet yeah, to understand that this offline collaboration between people when they sit just together, yeah, uh, makes a lot of um, communication and makes a lot of rules, yeah, that if you don't know something, you just ask, you just uh, go to this department and doing this offline and now it's not possible, yeah. After the mm -hmm. analysis, it was discovered that from functional perspective, business needs the effective communication tool, uh, unify the in one place all the data and information from all the systems, provide easy access, uh, understandable for everybody, and uh, create, I would say, unique interface and uh, smooth user experience to use this data yeah, and to encourage people to use this data. So as an answer to these uh, questions uh, slash challenges, we uh, designed a new digital workplace for this company. This workplace allows to access information from mobile device, from uh, your desktop device, from even chatbot. And by the way, the chatbot that was incorporated in Telegram, Teams, Viber, was very, very popular. We received a very good feedback, like 70% mm -hmm. of employees uh, were really encouraged to use it. And they were even telling that, oh, it's like I have a personal assistant now that I never had. And the more trendy thing now to call it co-pilot, co yeah. Uh, so some, I would say, a the beginning of AI yeah, started to uh, incorporate it there. Was also, you was you on the AI train before it even started? <laughs> In the beginning, let's say like that. It I'm not so <laughs> proto proto AI, something like that. Yeah. 
Uh, and uh, so we combined the different sources together, like a uh, company already has SAP and a lot of modules of SAP with financial information also, like uh, information that was in service desk, in external, um, some social networks like Yammer, also internal portals. So everything that was uh, mapped together, yeah, what information corresponds to what information combined. And on top of that, uh, we created this uh, uh, user-friendly, smooth user experience uh, that allows people to access this information only once. Yeah, so no no need to go to different links, different places and provide your login password and store it in a separate file because you already forget uh, which login corresponds to which system. So it was uh, everything in one place and you land it. Uh, on an online workplace, like you landed when you just came to office, sit on your desk, yeah, and everything, mm -hmm. your colleagues are around you. It was very easy communication via these chatbots and chats. Uh, it was this new unified access. It was news feed with internal, external uh, information. The company was quite big. It was 10,000 plus workers. Uh, mm -hmm. So um, the load was high and the custom dev perfectly works with this high load systems yeah and with big storages information storages and uh, with uh, when you want this you know uh, that uh, hard to express <laughs> with words but when you see the ui yeah you feel like oh this is a click for me yeah i want to i want to use it i want to go with that so easy a uh, simple uh smooth user flow yeah everything of that was created yeah on top of that yeah was created this with custom devs this smooth collaboration between all the sources so i think yes yeah, this is exactly a good example when a little bit of this art and creativity and proper user experience yeah made a uh, magic in the company from boring old corporate systems yeah we created this new that was uh, incorporated by early adopters and young generation and also we created a good motivation for i would say more um, experienced uh, people yeah because mm -hmm. what the main key to use the system it's a proper motivation when for example you are creating in this personal workspace the information with your financial information and you can uh, directly contact your accountant like uh, wh why is a change in the salary or wh what is there what is here so this is a good motivation to use the system and when you are just started to use it you go deeper and deeper to all other functionality so i would say this this is, was a really good and um, uh, represent, representative case of this creativity of custom dev. So now, is it uh, correct that it is now easier to use it than uh, for employees to have a cup of coffee as they write exactly. on the slide? <laughs> exactly, Ilya. Yeah, it's now easier yeah, than to drink your morning coffee. The first thing you don't drink, oh, yeah, this is low code, yeah, drinking his coffee. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> okay. but employees, yeah, using first the system, then the coffee. So thank you very much. I guess that was pretty exhaustive. And we already have one uh, first question. Uh, let me uh, uh, just jump in here for a second because Jurgen has a question where uh, when low code has uh, advantages over custom dev, which we will touch at further at our presentation. We have exactly a whole section dedicated to that. So please, uh, we are not going to go through this question now, uh, right now, but please stay tuned. We, will, we are going to have a separate discussion on that. Uh, so, okay, that was a... Uh, question advertisement, I would say. And now the stage is Anton's and he is going to tell us how low code solution help to integrate internal systems and digital workplace and make it cool for an oil and gas company. Anton? Yeah, so I was a bit not say to disappointed, but rather not even surprised to hear hear from you that low code, no code is something for the small business, something for the mm -hmm. units. It's pretty small. I would like to say definitely no, and this is a, definitely not the solution that could be only served by the small units, small amount of data, etc. I would like to present the 
quite big case, I would like to say, because this case serves for the thousands of users. This case uh, is application that's created for them. I would like to say for not only the company, but whole oil and gas industry. So this country level solution that unified hundreds of companies and thousands of users. When we imagine low code, no code application is always coming to mind something very simple. But in this case, in this case, we can see that we work with terabytes of documents. It's more than seven terabytes of documents. And definitely, I would like to say many hundreds, millions records. It's definitely terabytes of documents and data together. So what, what do you think uh, from this moment, from five to 10,000 users? Is this really something small you expect? To have in uh, low code, no code world. That's that's not the small. That's not how you imagine small. So yeah. Okay, so that's big enough. Okay, thank you very much for. <laughs> <laughs> so now, now it's open... if it's more than 10k or then. <laughs> uh, to, be, to be honest, we have experience up to 10k. So usually, you know, this the our limits. All we have limits. First of all, we have limits in the boundaries of the company. So usually we limited by the number of employees. So in, within this solution, we were limited by the number of industry members. So sorry, but only 5,000 managers works within the several hundreds of gas companies and no more. I think that we can serve much more, but at this moment we can really put on the table the fact that we can work with uh, such number of users. So first of all, we have to understand the size. So it, yes, yes, you can create your application within five users, within 10 users. It would be works fantastic if you have several hundred users and a lot of implementation, a lot of application really works within such boundaries. But power ups, low code, no code solution at this moment, uh, this moment uh, can be used within the very big corporate level and uh, even the country level. So a few words about this solution. Within this solution, we unite a lot of companies. So this is not only the solution for the one company. This solution allows you to invite uh, hundred users from the different company to work together within the set of uh, decisions, solutions, and data related to the oil and gas industry. Actually, this solution is used to manage the whole industry, to manage, manage the license, to manage the information uh, regarding the oil and gas business. Uh, people works not only with data, but also with documents. And uh, we use uh, together with uh, power ups, we use also teams, we use SharePoint to unify all type of type of data and content. Why we offer such solution for the customer? First of all, the customer wants to migrate um, from the old uh, Lotus Notes based system to the new approach. And decision was made uh, to choose no to choose low code, no code approach because of the speed. I would like to say that there are another myth. You can do the application within several weeks or months and that's all. In this case, we uh, commit our first version during the first year and now development continues. I would like to say that power up slow code, no code is in most cases is very fast and furious project, but from time to time we can make a really gigantic project and this is sample of uh, such case. Uh, we can work within the big, really big solution for years. So don't expect that all and absolutely all power ups application could be tiny, small and easy to build. In this case, we have a team of more than 10 members, actually it's even uh, around 25, including all support, integration, implementation, security. So this is quite a big team. This quite big uh, multinational team that builds solution and will build and will update solution for years. So we can have really big project. We can we can have really big scale and power ups fit the real corporate needs. So welcome the big solution in the low code no code world. <laughs> All right. Did you? Uh, I, I, I beg your pardon. Did you just say fast and furious solutions? Yeah, because actually our uh, first, uh, when we met, met the customer, we would like to impress the customer. So we always uh, to offer to build solution in a day, on a three day, on a week. So imagine you mm -hmm. can get solution, including web solution, mobile solution, online, offline, working on iPad, iPhone, within the 
five days time frame. So we can start with business analysis in first day. We can design solution in the second day. Within third day, we can build databases and full web interface and security. And last two days, we can build mobile applications that works online and offline. So this is fast and furious. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> fast. Okay, but I hope this is not too furious. With, uh, wow, with team, 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 team doing this in a very special, energized manner. <laughs> okay, I can imagine that. I can, I really can imagine yeah. that. Well, thank you very much. Uh, that was uh, really fast and furious about uh, low code in internal system. By the way, I wanted place. to mention that both yeah. projects are quite similar in terms of duration and the volume. Yeah. yeah? So um, it's, uh, I would say, to, to combine together that uh, custom dev is like long and difficult, yeah, low code, cheap and uh, <laughs> fast. So they are yeah. quite the same. Good point, good point, because to be honest, to be honest, we can have projects that last for five, six and seven years. Uh, there are few projects that can take from five to seven years, and this is low code, no code projects. So please don't treat low code, no code as something small, cheap. It could cost you millions of dollars. It could cost you thousands of hours. So it could be anything you want, really anything. I think that was the first time when someone tried to sell uh, by pointing out the expensive side of the of the solution, right? <laughs> you you will spend millions on that, but so you know, we don't think market. that you will spend both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, also I agree with um, Anton's point that MVP is good with low code and fast and yeah. quite time. Yeah, time to market is good. But also worth to mention was that there is proper, I would say, product management, business analysis and MVP prioritization and proper uh, technologies choice. MVP in custom dev can be competitively as fast. I mean, uh, it dep depends yeah, on the case, of course. But okay. the key, key differentiation that we can deliver a fully working solution with working databases, working web interfaces, working security, automated workflow and mobile solution and everything in one week. <laughs> and this is uh, fast, <laughs> yes. fast and furious. will be fast and All right. Uh, that was nice. Thank you very much. Let's move on to the second category of our solutions that are very familiar for, I guess, any business. And this is process automation. Th these apps could be, you know, you can find them in the agro sector, in the telco sector, in finance and banking, and uh, whatever the manufacturing big factories you have that uh, with the processes that you want to automate. And here is one case how custom dev helped to automate processes via mobile apps for one of our customers, Corteva. Please, Kate, share us more about this. Uh, okay, uh, I love this case uh, because of how it started and what it appears, I would say, to be. Uh, all started with a request from a company that sell uh, seeds, actually, yeah, seeds for planting. They wanted to advise to farmers who buy seeds from them, the applications that will help farmers uh, to monitor and manage their fields. So they wanted to maximize the value of each separate yeah, seed on the field uh, because it will benefit their product. Yes, yeah, they will sell more seeds if the farmers will carefully and um, correct uh, place them into the fields. Uh, application in, appears to be so helpful and needed that the roadmap uh, grows from, I don't know, uh, small several features to three years ahead roadmap. Around 15 uh, European Union countries are incorporated already there with the regulations and uh, with some customized functionality there. Uh, and application has already half a million users, like I think, yeah, 400k users, 400,000 uh, users. Uh, the challenge for farmers was always that they don't uh, have tools and enough manpower and expertise yet to analyze all these fields uh, items yeah and indicators and the answer to that need uh, in the application we had two groups of the killer features 
first one it's uh, field monitoring and management um the um, application is integrated with satellite images the satellite images are parsed and special field, field health indicators are calculated like ndvi uh, of course uh, one of the most helpful information is retrospective data yeah so the fa farmer can check what happened with the field like uh, years and years ago what were the indexes and receive recommendation about future crop, crop placement also like weather forecast, irrigation needs, everything uh, like field management log, everything is incorporated there and the farmer has in one place the whole overview of the field with recommendation, forecast and prediction how to better um, place the crop on the field. And another uh, group of features, it's variable, it was about the uh, different variable rates. Uh, for example, a farmer can choose what information he wants to uh, receive about the field. For example, how to fertilize the field before play, before seeding, after seeding, or some plant protection products. Um, so basically, the farmer can choose the uh, type of the crop, the years, mm -hmm. yeah, and the map will show the zones on the field uh, where with a good potential, bad potential. Also, he can choose uh, what number of seeds he wants to place, and application automatically will advise him what amount of seeds to put per square meter in which zone and moreover you can download it to your USB storage put into your equipment on the field I mean tractor and tractor will automatically place the proper amount of seeds or to different zones so to maximize maximize the um, harvest from the big potential zone I would say and balance with low potential zones the same goes with plant protection for example products the same so how where to put them how in which date the weather forecast there are a lot of uh, business there is a business rule engine inside yeah and these business rules are very custom and um needs to be adjusted advised depending on the uh, on the country and all mm -hmm. this i would say customized business rules engine helps farmers to properly use this plant protection products and again maximize the harvest and the crop with and minimization uh, with of the resources so i mean amazingly how the new application yeah maximize the value of each seed yeah together um together with the new technologies um, and uh, the application, the MVP here, it was again a very good uh, example of MVP where we were able to deliver it very fast and then expand like country by country, functionality by functionality, of course, like uh, six months as it was not over. Yeah, now it's still now growing and enhancing this functionality, but with proper prioritization and technologies because we used cross-platform technologies, um, the application is available on mobile devices and um, uh, tablets and uh, computers yeah, and with this cross-platform technologies we were able to minimize the number of resources needed and minimize the time to market uh, and uh, of minimize the cost of the project yeah and uh, include more features into MVP and further. I really like how it says from a single grain to the loaf of bread on your table. <laughs> yeah I like it as well. <laughs> So maybe some of us are uh, literally eating the results uh, of this of this app that helped Corteva to produce better products and be more efficient. That is very impressive. That's like magic for me. So uh, thank you, Kate. Yeah, exactly. And you see the UI, for example, of the so its uh, UI is mm -hmm. quite complicated and. Uh, also requires a lot of working with map with satellites yeah and this is also where a, a big power yeah was mm -hmm. <laughs> consumed for that yeah it looks, uh, looks pretty well pretty pretty user friendly i would guess uh okay thank you kate we're moving on to the next one because we also have anton's answer to that and this is the local dancer for mobile apps and how they automate it the business processes for uh, our uh, very loved customer MHP. So please, Anton. Yeah. Uh, 
the quite big difference between the wonderful application uh, from the gate and Corteva and the very, how to say, practical and technical interface used internally within the R&D department, within analytical departments to make the decision. It's uh, first you can see on this case. But what is important to understand? First of all, business can choose, uh, invest to the powerful, nice uh, applications that would take uh, months to development or quickly run some R&D projects in a few months, from months to two to three months and get into production as quick as possible. So for such cases in agribusiness, we can definitely recommend to see our agribusiness cases within low code, no code paradigm if you really need and if you really want to start as quickly as possible. This means that, for example, between the seasons, you have only months, only few months to do something to improve your business processes, to improve efficiency, and with low code, no code approach, this is really possible. Uh, so first of all, this is about uh, value, value for money. And you can really start with very small budget. Very small budget uh, within, uh, I would like to say, seven, eight, ten thousand dollars and application would be ready. So there's something almost impossible if you start the application development within the classic approach. Uh, definitely it would be more simpler in terms of user interface. It could be uh, less powerful than custom application, but you can get the result really quickly. So first of all, please uh, pay attention on uh, when you have really strict limits on budgets, when you have really strict limits and schedule to go with power ups, uh, low code, no code. Also, what is important to understand that you can get applications that would be uh, executed online and offline on different devices. You can run application on your Windows computer, on your uh, Mac, on your Apple phones, on your Google phones, on any application device and appliances. So first of all, we get more benefits by creating the real cross-platform application with low-code, no-code approach. Uh, I would like to also point that the solutions uh, could let you build new version quickly. You can expand and extend application within new modules, within the extension very fast. So the very important topic to really cover is not something I would love to talk is about licensing. So in case of uh, Carteva, we know that thousands of users already use the application. Unfortunately, for low-code, no-code world, we should count users. So this, this is something that we should count like as draft back of approach. So we can really go good with the quite small amount of users uh, within small applications. So if, 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 uh, you decide to build application, I would like to say for 100,000 of users, please go with custom development. If you would like to create the application in a few weeks, if you have a quite small R&D group in your agri business, for example, for service, for R&D fields, for some decision making application, for some very specific extension for your agri business professionals, please consider the low code, no code world because the money for value uh, with small amount of users would be really good for you. So uh, for such cases, uh, we can build very efficient application. Yeah, that's that's approach. And it's also quite fast. It is only three to four months. Uh, yeah, you can... de 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 definitely we can uh, build application. We can really go to the production with an agri business with the first version from two to three months. And we have a very different cases, not only for MHP, we have uh, other cases for worldwide business. And we create also some kind of application for the field service, for the technique service, for the agronomist. Uh, but we cannot say that this is application that works for a thousand users. Application used by a uh, tens to hundred users and the key key benefit of our approach we can deliver application in a few months well uh, at least this one aligns with the expectations of people that uh, I, I sounded at the very beginning of this of this discussion right yeah. uh, it's not it's not it's not all as dramatically different as it as it happens to be 
But uh, I guess if if you're uh, if you're done with your case, Anton, I guess we can just ask yourself. Uh, we can just ask ourselves one question, which is a very important one, uh, and this is: Have we changed our minds about what we thought about low code and no code on this very slide? I am sharing you and reminding you the most common beliefs that we discussed just before we started our cases. And please uh, vote in the chat in the Teams window. I don't know how to call it correctly, but you should have a vote played right in front of you right now. And you can let us know if Kate and Anton were able to change your mind just for one slight bit. Yep. So yeah, I'll maybe it's just... too early for the summary, but I also want to. Uh, I had a, just a thought now that I think our like battle is um, good, but uh, at the end it's about like choosing the right uh, right tool for the right job, right? So when you have some complicated UI, when you have a lot of users, when you have. Uh, uh, some uh, complicated business rules engines, or you want to create some like, cre really creative, yes, yeah, some disruptive, then this is the custom def is your choice. Yeah, low code is more for standardized processes, maybe, Anton. Yeah, you can comment on that. Uh, when you have a uh, lower amount of uh, users, so why you should uh, do it from scratch, you can use it with, uh, with some low code applications, yeah, and uh, be more be quicker yeah and to be um, uh, cheaper quicker let's say like that <laughs> still in this myths about low code well, yeah you're much. definitely correct when you're saying that it is uh like it is not finished yet and we are going to try to change the people's minds at the mm -hmm. very next round of of our show but this is kind of intermediary result that i wanted to to check with people and we are now progressing to the next stage which is the final stage and let me just scroll through slides which you already saw but just a moment and this one uh, the round that we call the final round or experts decide and uh, this one is very interesting because we tried to make it um, intriguing and we tried to make it very, very connected to the real life. What we did is we took uh, a big enterprise, like example of big enterprise customer, and in this case, it's a banking enterprise, and we listed all of the most used, most widely used internal systems that the enterprise could have. And uh, we asked our experts what from this uh, from these tools is better to have as a custom dev or as a low code. Or maybe that is, there's a third option, which is the boxed solution, which comes right out, out of the box. And what we are now going to do is we're going to assign the systems to the development approaches, right? Uh, just stay with me, just please follow, or follow my thought. And we are now going to do it interactively. I am now going to change my view, if you don't mind. I'm going to exit, and I'm going to share it like this, and I'm going to drag these little dots to the corresponding cells, wherever mm -hmm. it's custom dev, low code, or box solution. Anton, Kate, uh, please let me know if, if everything is clear. Yeah, yeah, everything is clear. I just already if, started if, to think about. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of a brainstorming session that is going to be pretty much free flowing, and we're going to go one by one with the systems. And uh, all of the audience, please react using the team's reactions if it's a like or no this approach, because we're closely monitoring your responses and reactions. It is very nice to see when you're reacting back to what we are doing here in real time. So. I suggest to start right away. And one of the pillars of any enterprise banking is core banking. So what will our experts say? Is it custom dev, low code or boxed solution? Box for me. 
But I think you can write it with your custom def if you want. <laughs> yeah, you can, but it's um, efficiency, I would say. Yeah, of course, if you're a neo, small neo bank and you want to disrupt, I don't know, in this industry, yeah, maybe. But um, uh, there are a lot of already ready solutions in the market for core banking. And yeah, uh, I would say yeah, the regulatory policies and everything there. Mm, makes it more efficient to you use a box solution and just tailor it for your needs. With custom dev, by the way, on top can be. <laughs> well, okay, but for for the internal for the initial stage, we're definitely going with box, and this yeah. is the first point that is that is going to the box solution. Okay, that was pretty fast. But what about the next online banking and mobile application for the bank? Uh, here I would vote for custom dev because it's a lot of users and it uh, should be something that differs you from your competitors. Yeah, agree. Anton, are you okay with that? Yeah, agree, agree, agree. This would be good for custom dev definitely because of again uh, public solution for thousand or for very successful bank uh, for national banks it would be for million users and that is something that um, stay out of the boundaries that we can offer with low code no code. So yeah. Okay, it is custom then. We're moving pretty yeah. quick. Uh, the next one, payment processing, which includes all of these important subsystems. What is that? Definitely, this is not about gain low code, no code, because it's about processing millions of records. And I would like to say that uh, it should be carefully designed and developed. So, yeah, it's again not about the low code, no code. Mm -hmm. it's about I would say if we, I would say yeah, it's two of them and the box and custom. custom. So some yeah, there are some uh, ready solutions as well as that for example like I don't know SIPA transfers yeah whatever yeah you need mm -hmm. to integrate with some external uh, providers and everything uh, that is already ready. But again yeah, you can combine it uh, with um, custom dev quite good. Okay, okay then it's a combination. Yeah, and I remember one thing, if we have some exception, if we have some, for example, investigation, I remember the case uh, when we have a task to do some internal complaints and investigation up uh, that should uh, discover some payments issues. And for such application, if this functionality not covered by the core solutions and it's not included within the out of the box solution, we can do such solution within the low code, no code world. So I would not like to put the blue circle near payment processing due to the majority functionality will be delivered within the custom or out of the box solution. But I would like to add that some exceptions, some, mm -hmm. some decision making process on top of the payment processing could be done with low code, no code. Okay, just a note. Just a note. It is a note for our audience who is maybe considering maybe making the payment processing or a pro or upgrading it. So the next one, treasury and asset management. What is that? I would go with custom dev here, I think, because it's uh, there are uh, some, I would say even, yeah, some custom algorithms, some custom things that you want to create and differ yeah you uh, and your process inside the bank so this is some intellectual property that is created there uh, but again maybe low code as well but i don't know what you think anton well here we have a cases for asset management for risk management for some legal purposes we can create the custom solution to manage cases around the assets we can for example talk about the audit application application that could be used to audit some assets to use it some uh, legal practices to incorporate the decision making process to incorporate the committees so i would like to say that we have different cases that can empower asset management so i would like to mix Mm, two approaches and include low code, no code at this point. Well, we so, can do that. It is yeah. a combination. Yeah, I think then. it's both it's of them combo. can be. Yeah, it's, it's a, a combo. combo. Yeah. It's, a, it's actually it's a good combo. Nice. It is a combo. Combo is powerful. Okay, to the next one, HR and payroll. 
Well, I would like to start that there are a lot of HR application nowadays started to build within the portal technology. So for many years, SharePoint became uh, the tool for HR management for bringing the new employee for motivation, for collaboration, communication, vacation, etc. So a lot of really a lot of HR processes uh, was built on top of SharePoint. Today we have a lot of HR processes built in within Teams uh, and uh, we start to build HR solution within Power Apps. But again, the combination of HR and payroll is definitely a space uh, for box and uh, custom solutions. So from my opinion, all three is mm -hmm. in game yeah Those i agree with that consider it right mm -hmm. okay we're we're doing the triple combo right now yeah that's definitely triple hat trick yeah yes the hat trick uh okay uh the next one we're moving at a nice pace the crm Kate, what do you think about the crm are you going to write the crm system <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> okay, okay. So, box and low code, I would combine. Uh, that yeah, the more. right answer. More, I would like to point to the fact that low code, no code world really was uh, born in, um, uh, inside the CRM. So actually, the CRM systems built by Microsoft, Microsoft Dynamics 365 CRM is actually the father and mother of the Power Platform because Dataverse is the core of the CRM system. So actually the moment uh, when you start using CRM system, actually uh, you start to using low code, no code system. So there are definitely, and first right answer is always a box solution. But if you mm -hmm. decide to build, I would like to say very, very custom solution with a lot of customization. So from time to time, we can uh, extend the out of the box solution. And there are a lot of project of uh, extensions or you can write your very very custom solution but for most cases we, we, we can we can start with yellow and then extend with low code no code so box plus mm -hmm. low code, no code. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah i agree we are reflecting that in our little uh, chart of circles here mm -hmm. we are adding the blue one to the orange one nice uh, <laughs> so the next one please risk management and compliance Ooh, what a words yeah, uh, I would go here for custom dev because right. it's again some uh, unique algorithms that unique for the company and can be like their business rules, their business engines, their rule. I mean, not all of them, of course. Yeah, but custom well, dev plus maybe. I, I cannot agree with you, Kate, because <laughs> from, my, from my perspective, the risk management and compliance, this is definitely 100% as business process automation. So first of all, I would like to say that is definitely, uh, yeah, we can imagine some out of the box solution for risk management, but uh, at each company, uh, we can see the very different processes, very different approach to risk management, a lot of integration, a lot of custom decision making process, and it should be very integrated within the corporate system. So mm -hmm. I would like to say that uh, it's low code should go first, then it could be custom and from time to time it's out of the box solution. But yeah, I would out like of to the do... box can be with fraud, you know, anti-fraud systems. There are uh, a lot yeah, of like hotel, kind of out banks, of the yes. box. Yes, but for corporate center, for hit for headquarters, I would like to say that low code uh, would come even first. So depending on the industry. So if we, if we're talking about the risk management on telcos, then definitely custom uh, and box would come first. If we're talking about risk management in company mm, and compliance processes, so this would be definitely low code, no code. So depending on the scope. Okay. So I guess we can uh, go first yeah. with the low code. I mean, I, I'm okay with that. Yeah, you convince me. And agree, agree. <laughs> and then we can add box just in case. Is it correct? Right? Yeah. We're ha we're having the combination of low code and box once again, and we're moving to the next one, which is data analytics and business intelligence tools. What are these? Box with custom dev, but actually 
for me, yeah, box with custom dev because there are a lot of different already out of the box solution for data processing, yeah, and visualization. Uh, but the, they need to be tailored usually. Uh, I would like to say that Microsoft Power Platform already includes Power BI, but Power BI is actually is solution engine for analysis, and I would like to say that specialized solution, highly efficient solution would play better. So I should pass the way to the custom and box solution. <laughs> so box first, right? I would say we can do it. Yeah, let's box first and custom second. It doesn't matter a lot here. Yeah. Then Please second. remember about Power BI, but let uh, shine the box and custom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but by the way, Power BI for me, it's a little bit not low code. For me, it's a little bit box solution, by yeah, the way. <laughs> so, so that, that's the, my honest point of view also. It's yeah. it's really a part of low code, no code solution. <laughs> you can really flexibly create the solution, but to be honest, it's more looks like a box solution. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Then we're moving only two left, and we have the almost last, but not by far the least. IT security. What are you choosing? Box and custom dev, maybe. Once again. Peter, you okay with that? I would say maybe. three of them. I would really think about three of them because there are, can be with low code some again automation of this requests automation, for example. Yeah, when yeah. you want to do the security mm -hmm. IT security incident, whatever. Yeah, but uh, again, yeah, but there are and box and customization for these box solutions as well. What goes first, box, isn't? It? Let's say all all of them together in one <laughs> in one. Then we go custom. Oh, sorry, I I lost one circle on the way. Then we go custom, and uh, then oh, we go local. Mm -hmm. So Agreed. it's uh, another hat trick, right? We have two of them. Mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and uh, please, the last one, ATM and car processing for the banking. Yeah, it's local, definitely. I kidding. <laughs> no, no, it's no, no, easy. No. Is it easy choice? No, okay. no, 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 <laughs> no. It, it's a <laughs> box. Maybe yeah, I would say for box solution, custom dev solutions. Yeah, but there are on the market there are ready solutions. Yeah, like product solutions for ATM and card product card processing. But uh, again, yeah, they can be tailored with custom dev, but definitely not low code. <laughs> ah, well, sorry, Anton. <laughs> But yes, we are going with box once it's again. My playground. Okay. But it's nice to see your limits, right? It's nice to see what you can do and what you cannot do, and what systems can do and what systems cannot do. Because after all, it's about the like meaningful approach to things. But again, okay. I would like to wait a second. I would like to add that in most cases we can always add something from custom development as well as we can always imagine the cases when we, we can do low code, no code development. Usually for existing system, for out of the box solution, for custom development, low code, no code could play a very interesting role. For example, if we would like to have some service application to run some services, maintenance, for example, for ATM, and we have a small service team, then mm -hmm. I think Kate would agree with me that low code, no code application for servicing ATMs would be good. Yes? <laughs> agree. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we we can imagine, so if you're talking about the core processes with processing, with running the ATM software, then definitely I fully agree that custom solution would be better and box solution would be acceptable in some cases. Uh, and there are no doubts that there are no way to run low code, no code. But, 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 but we can imagine some service, some extension, some mobile applications for such cases. So please really understand i think that we can think uh, and uh, in, in find a lot of ideas how we can extend almost all proposed solution with low code no code as well as we can service everything with custom development there's always some but right there's always some but yeah. in development 
Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we are actually uh, running out of time, so I want to proceed to our next and the very, very last section, uh, which is the conclusions. And I, I, I believe that we will go really fast through it because here we have kind of simplified it to the requirements from custom death and low code when it comes to characteristics and features that needs to be developed, right? So now Anton and Kate will go each one through their uh, approach and then we'll give some advice uh, and, uh, you know, highlight something very important when you approach uh, your business that challenges with these two approaches. So the first one who will go is Kate. And Kate, please, if there are any highlights or advices, uh, please share. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, our characteristic, yeah, coding knowledge required. Of course, you need, yeah, for custom devs, the coding knowledge, but how you can, like, a, a little bit mitigate it. Using technologies with wide community, yeah, and popular technologies where you can easily find developers and advices. Or using vendor help, that's a lot of, uh, there are a lot of IT service companies who can help you with the digi digitalization and chat GPT mm -hmm. is not that year, uh, that yet. Um, time to market. I was already uh, actually touching this point. Uh, good prioritization and MVP, uh, cross-platform technologies, uh, design, using design system and ready made components like material design it will be almost low code here yeah and open source solution if you need some wiki solution or a search solution yeah you will not uh, write search from scratch you will use elastic search um scalability flexibility it's a um, uh, competitive advantage of custom dev now just remember about your architecture is that if you know already in advance that it will be a high load for your solution you just put it in an architecture from the beginning mm -hmm. uh, high development cost we can mitigate with exactly the same uh, things as time to market because less time you will spend on custom devs, dev less money you will spend on that License costs, again, it's our pro, yeah, n super pro of custom dev, no, almost no license costs. Um, maintains need, again, low because uh, the main principle, if it works, don't touch it. Of course, if you want to enhance it with a functionality, it's, uh, I would say, next iteration of development. But if it's just finished and uh, working, don't mm -hmm. touch it. Don't, uh, only critical updates, like, for example, some security gaps in solutions that you are using customization our pro and security again no limitations here full control on you yeah thank you kate uh, so it seems like you finished with a two strong pros for custom dev what will be <laughs> danton's response for that what is his advices and highlights so, uh, first of all enjoy to have a highest low cost time to market wonderful you can really build the application very quickly the first prototype in the first days and the application could, could go to the production in first months and the pluses the nothing to add just do it and just try it uh, regarding scalability and flexibility definitely we cannot scale to millions of users because we limit to the enterprise scope. But as you can see from uh, the samples, we can build and run solution for 1,000 users. It's not for 100,000 users, but it's for 1,000 users. And I would like to say that it's uh, good to know that you can cover all your enterprise with solution. But the next very important questions uh, could arise regarding the cost. Uh, if we count the licenses, then we can see that it could cost from $5 to $20 per user per month. And it's quite important to understand if you take a 1,000 users and uh, calculate the license costs, then we could see the quite big amount. For five years, it would cover millions of dollars. And it's a good question. Is it worth to build a small application, for example, to book a corporate car or to see the timetable of corporate buses? to spend, I don't know, $100,000 per month for licenses to enjoy low-code, no-code no application and give the Microsoft millions of dollars of licenses. The answer will be no. Uh, we definitely understand that there are no reasons to pay for licenses if you have only small application with small value. 
So please, please be sure that your application is valuable. I would like to say that the application don't come alone. So for most cases, for most uh, IT, we see really big and quite advanced portfolios applications that could be built with low code, no code approach. And for such cases, if you list all your corporate apps, if you create the portfolio for the several years, you can understand that it can be uh, that solutions could be built with low code, no code, and the license price would be distributed amongst many applications. And with this approach, uh, license cost would be not so important because you will have uh, quite uh, more benefits from the running application twice faster and several times less in terms of budget. So please calculate budget efficiency, please calculate uh, time to market efficiency, please calculate uh, the cost of resources because definitely the customizers uh, and uh, low code, no code developers would cost, I would like to say, twice less than the experience of seasoned developers for the custom development. So if you compare the benefits with the licensing, you can see that definitely the benefits of having low code, no code application for a lot of applications inside the company. So, so that's why I put a lot of suggestion how you can benefit uh, with better design, how you can choose a different architectural approach to use uh, so-called free uh, low-code, no-code application based on Office on SharePoint, how you can choose a better technological strategy to not use premium connectors and to use some alternatives. So please pay attention on value. Please, uh, please choose different approaches to be still efficient. And, and almost all other points, we have uh, very good uh, results and very good features we can propose better security even can imaginable. You can have a better customization, better maintenance, but please take care about the licensing. All right. Uh, well, it sounds pretty easy and basic and accessible for everyone. And we are, we have run of time, but I guess our guests will not uh, be sad about it because it was very interesting. And thank you very much, Anton and Kate. And for those of you who are still with us, please scan for more low code and custom dev cases by InfoPulse if you want to find out more and see what projects have we done uh, in using these two technologies. So I will now skip on to the next slide, but please use your phones and opportunities or just go to the InfoPulse website and just see our cases. There's a very uh, nice filtering system there that is very convenient. And that's it from us, from myself, from Anton, from Kate. I guess I will now turn off the slides and we're <laughs> going to say thank you. And uh, we have just a couple of questions to answer at the very end of this show. So let me just go through them. Uh, for those of you, because I know that there are some of them and some of them are for, for Anton. So, uh, Anton, can you please answer us? Uh, so, question, low code depends on platform. So it's going to be platform if platform got updated. Uh, we need run and adjust everything SAP. Unlikely it will happen, but is there such kind of risk? There is a question number one for Anton. Well, technically, the low code, no code solution built on definitely inside the Power Apps platform. So, from time to time, it's happened that during the several years, some uh, core uh, features could be deprecated, some new features appear. So, really, uh, you, you can get the situation uh, when some features should be updated. At this moment, we met such situation with previous versions, uh, and ultimately, we have such cases for previous version deployed on premise. So at this moment we have less issues with online versions. So but nevertheless uh, the risks of updates within the three to five years perspective exist. So you have to track the platform change and you have to track what would be deprecated in the next year. But anyway, Microsoft warns you for many months before such issues could appear. Technically it could be all right, thank you very much. 
the next question is again for Anton. Uh, local seems to be popular today in the questions. Uh, how do you comment on the assumption that development of complex systems implementing complex business scenarios require tools that allow such fine tuning uh, via scripts, for example? And in the end, if it all comes down to custom development. Well, a uh, question uh, from Yuri. Yeah. Uh, that's a good question. Thanks for this. And to be honest, uh, we can always start with no code. Uh, in few steps, we can come uh, to the vault of low code by adding the power fix, by adding some scripting within the canvas interface, uh, by adding some workflow customization, etc. But from the some moment of time, if we're talking about the really big solution, and for example, the solution I have shown as the first case, there are definitely, I would like to say, really a lot of code. So to be honest, big corporate solution with a lot of application logic, with a lot of calculation, with very advanced UI components requires coding. So technically, low code, no code solution could include front end developers with uh, skills like a TypeScript, React, Redux, definitely for advanced security, for advanced backend calculation, C sharp developers come into play and develops a lot of plugins. So big mm -hmm. corporate projects, big corporate projects that uh, takes years definitely would include backend developers with C-sharp capabilities and front-end developers with TypeScript, JavaScript capabilities. So to be honest, in some circumstances for some projects, uh, it would be very hard to distinguish uh, low code, no code from the custom development. All right, thank you very much. And we have a special request from Valeri. Uh, who is just about to run to his next meeting. Oh, this shoulder to shoulder meetings, they're horrible. So uh, he asks us to uh, ping his questions up. So his first question is again about is, could you estimate how many efforts in percentage from total development efforts takes the implementation of cross cutting concerns like login, retry policies, concurrency and so on in custom dev projects? And this is about custom dev. So I guess Kate can help mm -hmm. us with that. I would say it's uh, about, I would say maybe 15, 20% uh, of for the project. And this is exactly a good example where uh, InfoPulse is doing some already internal, I would say, knowledge base yeah, for developers. We're doing some parts of the code already ready. I mean, like some uh, registration authorization from application mm -hmm. to application. We have a lot of the same functionality, yeah, as this logging, um, uh, concurrency, etc. So it's some standard components like low code that you can reuse, for example, uh, from from project to project and decrease the, uh, the development time. Thank you, Kate. And the next question from Valeria, who I hope is still with us and are not uh, running away yet, they, uh, goes to Anton and reads, the industry average experience is 15 to 50 bucks per 1K lines of code in custom dev projects. Do we have low code, no code statistics to compare, Anton? Well, uh, low code, no code is quite young, but uh, definitely the cost of developers uh, really, uh, as I said before, uh, the salary for the customizers could be from two to three times less than the salaries for the developers. So from this point of view, we can expect much uh, less costs per effort, this first point. The second point that uh, everything that already included in the platform, like security, like workflow automation, rules, forms you should not develop. So if you choose to create the business application within the model driven interface, you don't have to put any single lines of front end development. So there are no efforts uh, dedicated to the front end team at all. So actually depending on the approach you can maximize your business results and you can really minimize the efforts many mm -hmm. times depends on strategy all right thank you very much for that and i guess that would be uh, the last question and it goes to anton uh, what about the support of a local solution if we need to implement some small change which need to apply for multiple services of solution? And what about the long-term support of local solution? 
Well, from one point, support could be very the same as a support for the uh, custom development solution, but for uh, for perspective of the small solution and some changes, small business changes, it's quite better to have low code, no code solution, especially if we have a spe specific strategy of mixed competence center. Uh, it's uh, very rarely you can met the situation when a company decides to create own custom development competence center and start to develop and develop solution. Usually a solution uh, order it and develop it uh, by the partners and that's all. Uh, with low code, no code, you can easily create your own competence center. You can easily hire and train specialists to take uh, application lifecycle services and support on its in its own hand. Definitely, it's a bit <laughs> risky, but it's a good strategy from the perspective of the cost because the cost uh, of such support would be again definitely the smaller than the cost of support of the traditional approach but more efforts but more attention would be required from the your side so there are a lot of options and more flexibility with low code no code so we should count and understand your strategy okay thank you very much and i promise this is the last question and it comes from Walter, who is very interested if infopulse offers a standardized proof of concept program using low code for enterprises to make a viability study for new applications and uh, i guess anton or maybe kate could also answer to could add to that well okay i will start so uh, we have a very good practice together with our customers and together with our partner mm -hmm. microsoft to run uh, several approach several approaches like application in a day or application in a week so if you have any doubts uh, if it's possible to create the application with low code no code we can offer the, this we can offer this approach to you so you can choose one day application or three day application or five day application and you can see what you can get within short range of the time so that's approach but also i want to add that uh, we have uh, several like departments when the request comes to info pulse yeah we have like technical pre-sale we have solution consulting who actually can advise and decide and uh, mm -hmm. yeah advise customer with the proper solution so if we see that yeah the mvp is needs to be done on low code yeah it's a collaborative yeah we have like a, a group of people uh, who from with different expertise and for sure we will advise this proof of concept and some standardized yes yeah, this one day application five day application yeah if we see that it's not low code it goes to another direction let's say data custom dev whatever yeah we can we will suggest that approach thank you very much uh, i hope walter gets the answer to his question and that's it for, we are way over the time, but it was nonetheless interesting and I would not dare to stop you answering these questions because anyway, it will go into the recording of this session, which we will share, proudly share with everyone invited. So you will not miss a bit of our discussion, even though we went 17 minutes over the time. But at this point, thank you very much, Anton and Kate. I was, I was uh, enjoying speaking to you. I hope the audience as well. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, the same. Enjoyed. Uh, I enjoyed the meeting today. So thank you, audience. Thank you, Anton, my counterparty. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Ilya, for hosting our meeting. Yeah. Hopefully, see you soon. Bye-bye, awesome. dears. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.